हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्टार्ट टेक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एमेजॉन केनीस सो वील हैव टू वीडियोज फॉर इट फर्स्ट पार्ट इन द पार्ट वन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट आर ऑल द डिफरेंट सर्विसेस एंड समरी पार्ट एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वील डिस्कस अबाउट ट्विटर डेटा एनालिसिस डेमो पार्ट ऑफ इट सो स्टे ट्यून्ड ऑन स्टार्ट टेक for gaining more uh, information about that okay so we'll begin with today's video and uh, so we'll discuss about what is streaming data why amazon kinesis what are all its benefits what are its capabilities and what are the difference between uh, you no know, kinesis data stream fire hose data analytics and video stream okay so let us start so streaming data so what is streaming data so you would be all uh, knowing what is actually streaming data so why it is important to analyze the streaming data so that uh, business can take uh, you know actions over over the data in a real time so rather than waiting for any anything to happen so in a real time uh, business can take decisions uh so that is why real time data anal analyzing is very important so and it can be in a small sections like it it will be a kbs of data data need to be processed in streaming is like sequentially as well as incremental incrementally and on a record by record basis information uh, retrieved from such data is valuable for companies in aspect for their business and uh, you know customer activities such as service usage user activity web logs you can think of then physical goods that enable uh, you know promptly like you, we need to take prompt decision so in that scenario this is a uh, very important analyzing this and amazon kinesis uh, suffice this and it is a managed cloud alternative to Ka apache kafka it is it makes it easy to collect and process and analyze data in a real time kinesis offers key capability key capabilities to uh, to you know uh, save it in a cost effective manner process the streaming data at scale uh with amazon kinesis we can uh, ingest data in real time such as video files audio files application log web uh, website click streams telemetry data for machine learning analytics and so on so the list is endless uh, how we can ingest the data in amazon kinesis uh, it also enables you to process and analyze ads it arrives so this is important i like uh, you can you know take a decision instantly based on the data uh, as it is occurring in a incremental manner and in, in a real time manner so what are all its benefits it's real time it is fully managed service it can be scaled uh, depending on how many streams of data you have and can process hundreds of and thousands of data source with very low latency it is a fully managed service and runs your streaming application without requiring management of uh, the server and the infrastructure real it's a real time service you can ingest uh, buffer and process streaming data in a real time so you can derive insights in seconds or in minutes instead of hours and hours of wait so uh, kinesis data producer can be uh, anything like ec2 instance a log files iot data social media streaming data gaming data click stream data so it could be of any anything so these are few of the examples so these are the four uh, sir different services uh, of amazon kinesis so we'll see what are uh these in details so on a high level like kinesis data stream is a real time data streaming service with the uh, 
scalability and uh, durability with high scalability and durability data is available in streams uh, for 24 to 4 to 7 24 hours to 7 days kinesis firehose provides a facility to load data into data store near in a near real time so data stream and firehose data stream is uh, real time firehose is near real time system and uh, for and it can be stored stored in s3 redshift elastic search okay and uh, kinesis data analytics service is like if anybody who knows sql so we are, we are uh, here we are enabled uh, with the sql queries which we can run on an kinesis data analytics application so it is more easy to gain insight out of it Kinesis video streams uh, securely streams video from the recommended devices to an AWS real-time system. We can integrate a ML algorithms uh, and uh, do some other processing on a uh, stored video, uh, which basically would be a S3 location. Okay. So till now we saw what are all different services. So let's deep dive with data stream. What is a Kinesis data stream? So we saw in the previous section like what all can be the producer. So producer will produce data. The data produced will be continuously in the streams and the data will be stored in the shards. So when you create a data stream, you mention like how many shards it will be there. So you can have n number of shards and uh, depending on the sequence number it will go to specific shard on the data produced by a specific uh, producer will go to specific shard depending on the sequence uh, number like partition key you can uh, consider here and uh, after that when the data is available then we can use we can have uh, consumers like we can have EC2, Lambda, Kinesis, Data Analytics, EMR, Data Firehose as a consumer. So consumer will process and ingest data and perform some analytics in a real time which will reflect in the real time dashboard. It could be BI tools or Redshift or a DynamoDB or S3 as well. You can store the analytics into these, loca these uh, destinations. So we'll see what is a data streams and shards. So Kinesis uh, data stream is basically collection of shards. And what is a shard? Shard is nothing but a packaging or mechanism which holds the data. It is uh, the default limit is 500, but you can raise a ticket uh, if you want to increase the limit. And each shard uh, has one uh, can ingest thousand records per second it has a payload uh, you can send a message of up to one mb and one shard is equal to one mb of input and two mb of output data and all the data is stored for 24 hours and can be extended to seven days so after that uh, limit the data will be lost or it will be auto deleted so here are a few of the systems of for interacting with kinesis data stream so like kinesis producer library kcl kinesis agent kinesis api sdk so we in the demo part of the session we uh, will in the next video we'll see how can how we can get the data to via kinesis agent so what are producer libraries it is easier way to use a library that allows you to write the data okay write it write to a kinesis data stream kinesis client library uh, is a consumer library which the data produced by kpl is consumed by the kcl library from the kinesis data stream kinesis agent is nothing but a java application that can be installed on a Linux server in, a, in an environment. Kinesis API, so we have uh, 
put record and put put record and put records so for a single record you can use put record uh, api and for multiple records we can have put records uh, which can be used so this these are all the different uh, ways we can interact use case so for kinesis data stream what can be the use case that process uh, data uh, process log file processing log files processing uh, data real time data analytics like uh, it can be stock or stock data or a uh, click stream data for real time then gaming data like continuously co collection of uh, uh, you know players and uh, Uh, daily and delivering data to a gaming platform that that can be one of the use case then mobile data capture your mobile application devices can that can collect data and store it into kinesis data streams kinesis firehose so we'll see in detail what it is about so kinesis firehose is a near real time system that operates uh, the operation of kinesis data starts with the producer so producer will produce the data and that data would be stored to one of the four of the destination like s3 redshift uh, elastic search splunk and that stored data can be used for visualization using a dashboard so we will use this kinesis firehose in the demo part of it so please check out that for more details so what are all the features of a firehose so here in kinesis firehose we can uh, mention like buffer size and buffer time so uh, data will be produced and will be sent to the destination in near real time when either the buffer data uh, is is set like you can set the buffer of 1 mb when the data is accumulated into a fire hose and uh, it it goes to 1 mb then the data will be sent to s3 or elastic search so these are few of the ranges for s3 it can be 1 mb to 128 mb for elastic search it is 1 mb to 100 mb of data then buffer intervals it could be 60 second to 900 seconds and a possible time delay is uh, occurred when the buffer size and interval is uh, of the data is delivered so any of the two options are uh, done then only the data would be stored to destination so this is the important factor to understand about uh, data firehose okay this is data firehose what can be the use case for this so streaming data like iot devices data embedded file systems uh, it which can be stored into data lakes it can be a use case then etl jobs like uh, running etl jobs on streaming data that can be stored to a data warehouse that can be a use case then building uh, ml streaming application to you know enrich the data streams with the uh, ml learning models to analyze the data then uh, security purpose also we can use to monitor uh, network security in a near real time and create alert when a potential threat arises so this can be one of the use case for kinesis firehose okay so we'll understand what is uh, kinesis data analytics so Uh, for this, the input could be data stream, fire hose, or S3. Any any one of these, it can be. Then uh, we have a Kinesis uh, data analytics application through which we can create a stream, uh, and uh, like just using a normal SQL, we can analyze the data and store it into either a data stream or fire hose. or it can be an external destination as well like s3 redshift or any final dashboard it can be uh, so it's a pretty uh, useful uh, service 
for an ba or a data analytics guy to just you know if you want to check or do some ad hoc querying so this can be achieved in a data analytics application environment so there are some a uh, windowing functions so like sliding window so what it is so we'll see in the detail what is a sliding window like uh, when the data appears so there are 100 records 100 records will be sent and go to uh, go go to kinesis data analytics application so suppose uh, we have a use case uh, like uh, we want to aggregate the uh, uh, data for uh, say suppose one minute sliding window so every one minute we want to do minimum and maximum of the uh, you know price from the source string how we can do that so we can partition it by ticker symbol and uh, we can specify the range window so this is the window function we can use over it for the sliding window operation rather than using group by so this is the uh, difference between the sliding window and tumbling window so in sliding window we can have like as the record will appear the record will go uh, go out as record comes it will go out so it emits an output uh, as new record appears so here uh, issue can be we can have a overlap in this uh, kind of scenarios but in case of tumbling window here we can have like a specific time interval like for every 10 minutes we can set up a window and uh, we can perform some aggregation operation using a group by parameter group by statements so in sliding window we have used partition by creating a window and in a tumbling window we can specify a group by uh, clause for uh, uh, doing some aggregation for the source string so here it can be like a 10 minutes video uh, 10 minutes window and uh, so it can be processed so he, here each query is aggregated using distinct time based window that opens and closes at a particular interval so as you can see in the diagram like it does not have any overlaps but it has uh, like every 10 minutes it has a window specific window where it opens at t1 till t10 t5 here for 5 seconds every 5 seconds so what is a staggered window so we saw sliding window we have seen tumbling window so what is a staggered window so staggered window is a query, a query that aggregates data using key time based window that opens and arrives the keys that allows mul for a multiple overlapping window this is recommended way as a we as the you know uh, disadvantages of the sliding window and tumbling window can be uh, managed in the staggered window so we can have mul we this allows uh, multiple overlapping window this is recommended way to you know avoid the overlapping window operation used for analyzing groups of data like arriving at inconsistent time suppose we have data which uh, comes not in a specific window time but it it can have a randomness so suppose we can have few records at uh, 11 1 and then we are having the data uh, at 11 30 or some something like that so it is not a specific window wherein we can uh, accom accommodate this so suppose here in the example like uh, we want to do same operation like uh, we want to have a uh, aggregation of the counts 
count of uh, ticker symbol for that window so how we can do that so here we need to create a stream and uh, here we can use uh, like a pump operation create or replace pump and insert into destination stream and uh, we can select and do a group by and uh, then we need to mention the floor uh, like how much time event it could be and the step function like step uh, of the uh, interval we need to mention so use case could be a real time uh, re responsive real time analytic system for uh, monitoring metrics uh, so we can have a EC EMR cluster or uh, some AWS uh, so EC2 instance running and we need to uh, you know aggregate it and uh, monitor such metrics so we can use that and using uh, simple SQL uh, we can use it then managing real time gaming metrics like uh, we want to aggregate or uh, join important gaming uh, data like we want to find mean max of average uh, you know gamer over a, a 10 minutes of sliding window we can use Kinsys data analytics performing some stateful operations uh, like you you need to run some wrong long running stateful uh, computations to trigger real time actions based on the anomaly detection uh, you can use uh, Kinesis data analytics okay so what is Kinesis video streams so Kinesis video streams is uh, nothing but a device uh, from Amazon you can use and uh, the video recording would be stored in a S3 in S3 location and uh, we can use uh, recognition video or uh, some AI ML op algorithms over the video and uh, we can send notification uh, suppose that uh, we we are having a camera at the house uh, house in the home and uh, we want to capture some activities or maybe a warehouse where we want to capture some activities so such in such kind of scenario we can use amazon kinesis uh, video streams where it stores the video for uh, in s3 for later uh, viewing purpose and uh, suppose there is a dog barking so we can uh, view it via uh, kinesis video streams and uh, based on the image detection we can capture capture it so it is a very useful service for uh, in such scenarios where, where we want to you know take the vi video and then do some processing on the video so in that case it is very useful so we can uh, consider like uh, video producers could be amazon devices or maybe a web camera or a mobile camera where, where we want to ingest the data it ingests a video into uh, through via kinesis video stream and store it into s3 location and uh, over over that we can have a dashboard per uh, dashboard for uh, you know uh, checking the any metrics from the video streams so where it can be used like smart city uh, or uh, you know traffic monitoring we can use then for pre preventive maintenance like uh, if we have a warehouse and we want to check like uh, it for uh, like thermal image image processing we we want to do where it should not have overheating so in that scenario also we can uh, use kinesis video stream so in a summary base like uh, what are the different what are the difference between all the four services so data stream is a near, is a real time data stream is a real time service wherein we will ingest the data into data stream data firehouse firehose is a near real time where the data would be stored into a specific uh, location like 
and uh, data analytics wherein uh, we can leverage sql to get get the aggregations of the data and video streams like uh, it's a uh, connected devices or aws machine learning we can uh, use on the videos and uh, other processing we can do as well on the videos then uh, source for data stream could be iot devices mobile devices kinesis uh, apis to send the data we can use it then firehose so it could be a server or mobile or iot devices again then in analytics it can be kinesis data stream server application mobile iot devices it could be it could be msk uh, then video stream for video stream the source could be uh, like video that could be detected from the amazon devices or maybe some uh, web cameras installed which would be enable to get the data to video stream then uh, consumer would be like uh, for data stream it could be data analytics service kinesis data analytics it could be a emr it could be ec2 instance using or uh, a lambda function and for firehose it could be s3 redshift elastic search or any http endpoints uh, data doc it can be or uh, mongo db and splunk so data analytics uh, it could be the source could be a kinesis data stream or a firehose delivery or some s3 locations as well for uh, video stream it could be uh, recognition system or sage maker or tensor flow algorithms which can be uh, used over the video of which is which would be stored in a s3 location so use case for data stream could be a log event or um, real time uh, wherever the data is produced mobile capture data gaming feed data it could be data fire host uh, it could be like iot devices click stream data log analysis security monitoring it could be a use case for data analytics like real time analytics we want to check and uh, real time etl we want to check like what are the counts or uh, ad hoc some queries we can use stateful processing we want to event processing we want to check via sql query so that could be done uh, in a data analytics then video stream it could be smart technology ai video related ai ml or video processing it could be so this is on this is a summary base like what all each each of the service does so that's it for today's video Uh, we'll see in the next video about the use case how we can uh, use a uh, kinesis the fire hose uh, to you know leverage it so thank you everyone and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you and bye bye